Okay, so we've looked at end pairs and uh, a couple of attached pairs, the uh, common and the traditional methods. And now we're going to look at um, these centralised pairs, where you can see the pair is um, centre to the centre of the wall, um, whereas the other ones, like this, we call them offset pairs, where they're at the back of the wall mainly. Um, so we're going to look at this one just quickly, and again we're going to look at this uh, brick and a half offset hollow pair and these ones um, would be like gate pairs which would be reinforced and filled with concrete and just in this short video we're going to look at attached pair this one is going to be uh, an offset um, solid pair an attached one um, again one and a half bricks okay so we'll just quickly look at these ones again following the principles of what we um, have already learnt so again uh, I've blown this um, scale up to 1 to 5 just so it's easier for um, us to see so again if this was um, like a garden wall again you probably wouldn't see these types of pairs very often but again this is just building up uh, an understanding of how we're going to um, um, get over problems um, and how we're going to sort bonding uh, problems out um, just by sort of doing various um, exercises like this so again if we um, just take this uh, as the first course um, we just uh, again all in stretch bond at the moment we'll do English and Flemish later on um, so again in pencil I'm just gonna pencil in just to see where my first stretches are gonna go so I can see I've got three whole bricks between my end pair and my attached pair so now we've got to think about how we're gonna bond these in relation to the second course so Again, we've got to think same as what we did with the first bonding problems and videos that we looked at, which were the um, junctions where one butt up and then one tie in. So we can see here this one is button up, so we know that this course has got to tie through. So what we're going to do there is we're going to already tie that through. We can see here. And again, it's always a good idea just to go half bond to that, just to find the one that you do want. So again, just following half bond there, so we can see that a stretcher needs to go into here. Okay, so if we've got that there, we could have a header on the end. So there's a header, so we would have two stretchers on the end. Now these ones are what we call closure bats. Although we write the word closer, it's actually pronounced closure with a, like a U in it. So uh, again, it's just the way um, the English language is, I suppose. Um, so here we go. Again, on here, we can see we've got two closures. And again, because on this face and this face, we can see a stretcher, we can see that we have to have two headers uh, on top like that. So again, that would be how we would bond that one. Okay, so I just want to quickly go through these ones. So our next one is the uh, stretch upon one and a half brick offset hollow pair. And uh, as I just mentioned at the beginning of this, um, we would um, mainly uh, fill this up with concrete with a reinforcing rod. Sometimes the reinforcing rod would be uh, embedded into the, the foundation concrete just to obviously give it some rigidity. And now again, I'm going to do this very, very lightly because there's two alternatives here. One, we could adopt what we had with the junctions where we have a header because we can see if we follow this round, chase this round, we can see we've got a brick that I'll start you off with and then another one there, another one there and then this one would come through. But when it comes through, there's going to be a problem because to, for the next course to come over, we're going to be joint over joint. So we wouldn't really want that on this one here this would be because you can see this is half bond when the stretches come over this one you can see there there's our header on the next course where we come to our stretcher one two three four there's our stretcher joint over joint so we know that that is not what we can do but as with um, uh, the rules of bonding when we were looking at junctions where this wall comes in ties in We've got a stretcher there, so we must have a stretcher this side. 
So this is just one alternative. Now, I wouldn't worry about going because obviously they just continue in stretches up there. But when we come to this side, again, we can see a brick would chase around like that. And then we come to there, this one tied over, this one butts up. But we've got this joint here. So what we need to do is we need to be center of that with, as we saw in the junctions, two three quarters. Now this again as we said with the garden walls and the end pairs and the attached pairs in the traditional me method um, they didn't look great because again we've got a lovely stretch of bond and then we'd come to this zip at the end where we have a header and two three quarters. So there is an alternative way of doing this which again would match the um, the common method that we use nowadays but it does mean using a brick that we haven't talked about before so I'll just get rid of all of these you can see just by drawing these in lightly what a benefit that is because again now we're um, back to where we started now this alternative method would be again we're going to follow this one round as we did when we come to here, that brick tied through before, this time we would have a mitered brick. So we just call this a mitered brick. Okay, and again, if we had in plural mitered bricks. So those two would be cut at an angle to bring that one across. Now, I'm just going to show you something after I've drawn the second course in. And again, just a brick and a half, so we're going to go around. You can see that this one tied over, so this one now butts up. And again, we're looking at half bond there, so that's where we want that joint. So there it is. And then stretches again. So this, you can see, gives full uh, stretcher bond uh, on the face, which is much, much, much better. And just so you don't think I am um, made that brick up if I go to the book that I used to have when I was an apprentice you can see here a very similar um, method was used in this uh, junction arrangement here where they had moited bricks okay so again I'm going to talk about this book um, when we come to English and Flemish bond but again that is uh, the alternative of doing that. Now on our final one we have one that is a little bit complicated because if we imagine this as being a 9 inch wall or a 9 inch pair, 225 whatever you like to call it, uh, we know that, that is the size of a brick so we know as we looked at the garden walls how we just use pockets to use as an indent to uh, later on build the pair up. But where we have a brick and a half this kind of like messes up the arrangement that we have. We know that one side is going to butt up. So if I just chase that through, you can see here this one won't be able to butt up because we have a whole brick there. Again, if you look at mitered bricks in there, it doesn't quite work with the bond and arrangement we have. So we've got to think quite carefully about this. We can see that this brick ties over. So we're going to say that that one is there. Again, do this very, very lightly because, again, there's going to be alternatives. A lot of them are going to be wrong. Uh, one or two of them may work. So if that went across there like that, we could go across there like that. And then we could have a closure in here, as we did with the garden wall. And then we could say that there are two three quarters there. And again, we go back into stretches that way and stretches going that way. So you can see how that bonded round. So one side of the pair tied in and the other side butted up. So obviously when we come to do the, the other course this would just be exactly the same but in reverse. So we'd have that brick there, we would have this stretcher over this side so you can see that here we have the header and there we've got the stretcher so it's bonded round nicely. And This one obviously butted up so we know that this one has tied across. So this brick has tied across there. And to maintain our stretcher face, 
this one tied across there we can see so this one button up and there again are our two three quarters okay so you may want to watch this one um, a little bit slower just to go through that one again but again that is um, uh, one way probably the easiest way to uh, tie in a one and a half brick solid uh, offset attached pair okay so we have a lot more on the stretch bond um, but we're not going to look at those ones uh, anymore the rest of those ones will just be exercises in the book that I have um, but the um, next ones that we're going to look at are going to be the solid work so we'll look at English bond and Flemish bond uh, but what I'm going to do right at the start is I'm going to uh, identify all the different bonds that there are um, but principally we are only going to work with English and Flemish bond 